perhaps the coolest memory ever, the first time I headlined Heritage Lanes. Unfortunately, there's no more comedy there, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a good time. Uh, you know, I really should pursue comedy full time, but I'm still raising a family, so I gotta choose the family, man. This is why I like video. I like video blogging because it's so simple. I can do it from home. I can do it from anywhere. And it's just easy as hitting record. Welcome to the vlog. One thing I would like to know is how do people stay perfectly still? If I stay perfectly still, I always get anxious. You know, especially if I drink a bunch of coffee before. But it just, it drives me up the wall whenever I can see someone just sitting there perfectly still for a long period of time. That's not me, I can't do that. You'll see me fidget, you'll see me move around. I'm not trying to be sketchy or anything like that. I'm not trying to be inconspin, how do you say that word? Inconspicuous, there we go. I'm not trying to be that. I'm just like, I need to move around. That's why I don't, I don't, uh, I don't smoke the devil's lettuce as much anymore because that just takes the moving around to a whole new level. I end up pacing around if I am too high in the clouds, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, so I, it's been like 12 days since I've had any smokable version because this time when I'm taking a break, it's because I just found myself like it doesn't keep me calm. If anything, it moves me around and uh, yeah. My next goal is to hopefully stop eating the devil's lettuce because I, I bake it and I eat with it. And it's it's still nice, like that's, it's good medicine, but uh, sometimes I feel like I just need, need a break from it. And I think that's with everybody with their vices, right? Sometimes, sometimes you just need a break. Like just sitting there doing nothing. The only time I look like I'm doing nothing is when I'm recording a video talking to you, the viewer. And every now and then you'll still see me talk with my hand. I don't know, just talking with your hands always feels right. It's like your hands create an epic story. And it's just, it's amazing. You can even, I think there's people out there who gesture with their hands on the phone. And why are you doing that? They can't see what you're doing, but it just feels right. You, you, the more animated you are, the more you feel like you can compel a story. Even when I do stand-up comedy, I think I get very animated with my stick. And whenever I'm done telling a joke, I'll often stomp my stick on the ground. I'll just let it drop and I'll pick it up again. Like I, I just let it drop, but I don't actually let it fall to the ground. You know what I mean? Just thump. And I usually do that at the end of every joke. I remember uh, Bradley Layden was the first person to tell me that. It's like, why do you, why do you do the, 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 the thump? And I said, I never noticed I did that. I think I do that to tell myself, move on to the next joke. And I don't do that as much anymore, but when I... It's amazing what kind of isms you have. I think we just, we love to be animated as people. We love to try to compel a good story. And especially if you're really passionate about something or it's a story that you remember when you were a kid, you can paint that picture and then the person you're talking to will usually have enough imagination capability that they'll be on your every word. Because humans are pretty cool like that. You don't see cats gesturing when they're talking unless they're gonna smack you if you're another cat. It would be a sight to see, to see Millie and Sydney talking with their paws. Like, I really don't like you. Well, I don't like you either. And here's what I would do to you if I could, but we have humans. You know, that'd be, that would be hilarious. Instead, they hit each other with their paws. They destroy one another and we got to break it up. And they're both females. Ah! Anyway, finished taking the little one to school. So now we're going to head home. I have a video I got to edit. Uh, I think it's going to be Wednesday's video I'm editing today. And then after that, I'm off to go visit uh, my buddies, Nick and Christina. We're gonna be joined by Jason Steele. We're gonna help Nick. I'm gonna be a star in one of his videos, a co-star. Uh, he's doing an Easter Seals Challenge. The Easter Seals Challenge is a challenge that comes out every year on March 28th, and you have to like April 13th or April 2nd, I can't remember. Basically, I think you only have four to a week to uh, actually come up with uh, your, your movie. And this year's theme is romance and disability. So the stars have to be disabled in one way and they have to use the objects in their life that show them being disabled. So for me, it'd be my white cane. For Nick, it would be his crutches. 
and the theme is romance. You have to convey romance with the tools you use. Should be exciting.